You are listening to Safety and Health in Hotel Housekeeping. Where we give bite sized health and safety tips for housekeepers. If you want to know more about ways to prevent injury, this is the place. And now, your host, Daisy Kwok. Hello, all, welcome to Safety and Health in Hotel Housekeeping. Today, I'm going to talk about how to choose a warm pack to relieve muscle tension. If you have been thinking of getting a heating pad to relax but want to know more information to select the best for yourself, this episode is for you. How could a warm pack help to relieve muscle tension? A warm pack helps to improve our body blood circulation by dilating the blood vessels surrounding the muscle. This improves our metabolic rate, together with more oxygen, is getting into our muscle tissues, which is good in terms of recovery. So, before buying a hot pack, what sort of different warm packs are there in the market now? Warm packs come in different terms like heat packs, heat pads, and the most common type is moist heating pack, heated up by microwave. Oftentimes, it comes in different shapes to fit our body parts. For example, a mountain shape that fits our neck, a C shape that can rest on our shoulders. The second type of hot pack, we call it dry heating pad or electrical hot pack. We can set time frame and heat interval, therefore it comes with a higher price. The third type, hot water bottle, which is much cheaper. The size is usually best for the tummy or our hands and feet, but it might be too small to put over our shoulders. We must make sure the cap is well closed to prevent any leakage. Yet, most of it is made by PVC so that you can wash it with water from inside out. So, what to note in looking for warm pads? First, pick the right size. Consider which part of your body region is needed most for this heating pad. Some people need it for the shoulders and neck muscles. Some use it for menstrual cramps or warming up their body through cold weather. Is it long enough to surround your neck? Is it big enough to cover your whole lap? If you want to relieve back muscles, definitely a large hot pack will fit you better. Second, pick the right shape. Some hot packs design has stitches that run across where the pad can move nicely along the body's curve. The heavy pack has its advantage because it gives better contact too. For the neck, some come with a long strap at both sides for us to tie a knot. This is good so that we can enjoy the heat pack while we watch TV or read books. Third, our considerations include does the heat last long enough? Sad to say, you can't tell if you have never used it. The bigger the size, the harder it can be microwave up to a certain temperature. To fit into the microwave oven, the production company cannot produce an oversized pad too. If you are looking for an entire bag to be relieved, an electric heating pad might be more convenient. So how would you know is heat retention? My tip? Check for Amazon's products review. The last factor that you should think about is, do you want to wash it occasionally? It's not a big problem if you are the only person who uses this hot pack. But if it's going to be shared among your family members, hygiene is one concern. It's better to be washable. Check if you can wash the cover. Check if the fur on the heat pad is detachable. I don't recommend after you place your foot on the hot pack today, it will be on someone else's neck the other day. After all these, I hope you now have better information on which type of hot pack to choose in terms of size, money, shape, and safety. In next episode, we'll be talking about safety in using heating pads. Please stay with us. I respect housekeeping room attendants. Their hard work, their focus, their caring are my motivation to create this podcast. If you're working in hotel industry and have questions about housekeeping, safety, and health, do drop me a note in my Facebook group, Pain Free Housekeeper. More resources are waiting for you at our website, 
that you can find in the bio. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Daisy, host of this podcast, Safety and Health in Hotel Housekeeping. It means a lot to me if you would consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care. Safety and Health in Hotel Housekeeping is the production of Strangness Work.